Hello, and welcome to the Westford Town Meeting video series. My name is Anita Tonkarn Nguyen, and I'm joined by Westford's town moderator, Angela Harkness. This is one of several short videos where you can learn about the ins and outs of town meeting. Hi, Angela. Welcome. Hi, Anita. Thank you. And thanks for helping me get this information out there. <laughs> Yeah, so the topic for this video is understanding the check-in process. Annual town meeting is on March 23rd and is gonna be held at the Westford Academy Gym. I know that a lot of people descending into the WA gym at the same time can feel really chaotic and feel really busy when it's time to check in. Angela, could you walk through how people will check in at town meeting? Sure, um, the meeting itself starts at 9 a.m., but we're going to have check-in beginning at 8 a.m. so that people can get there, get settled, and be in their seats in time for the start of the meeting. Um, this year, the town clerk has decided to have the check-in take place in the bell lobby, so immediately inside the entryway, which will be the main entrance of Westford Academy. That's where people will be going in. So when you come in, you'll find the tellers right there, and the tellers are the folks who check to make sure you're a registered voter. And um, when they check you in, they will hand you an electronic vote tabulator, which is one of the um, tabulators that we'll use to vote with. And they'll direct you either to the gym immediately behind where they are, um, or once the gym is full to the um, performing arts center or the auditorium, which is to the left. Okay, and I know you have another video just about the clickers and how to use that. So for folks watching, if you want to um, tune into that video, then you can see how they work. And what about non-voters, Angela? Maybe people from out of town or what about kids? Sure. Um, non-voters will be directed to room 103 where the um, uh, meeting will be broadcast live and they'll be able to watch from in there. Um, our bylaws require that the non-voters be separated from the voters, but we certainly don't want to discourage people from attending and we're happy to have them in the building in that room. Um, in terms of children, uh, Westford is providing once again uh, free uh, child care for anyone uh, who would like to take advantage of it on the day of the meeting. It's on-site childcare. It'll be taking place at Westford Academy and it's uh, being done by the recreation department. They really do a great job. So when you arrive with your kids, uh, if you're registered for the free childcare, there'll be a table where they'll check your registration and uh, have someone there to take your child or children down to the area where they're having the childcare. Yeah. And, you know, I've used the child care myself for my my two children. They're 10 and six. And so I can vouch that um, it was very easy and comforting to be able to meet with somebody kind of at the check in process. And then the children are walked down to where they're going to be and being able to kind of check in on them as needed or if they need me. Um, it was very accessible and um, it was a great program offered. Thank yeah. you. Um, can we expect to see sign holders and signature collectors at the entryway again at this meeting? So um, in the past, we have had folks in the bell lobby doing electioneering and advocacy, but um, that's resulted in a little too much congestion for the voters coming into the building. Um, and I, I feel probably has not been as effective as it could be for the people who were doing the leafletting and, and uh, signature collecting. So instead, this year, we'll have some uh, specific areas outside the building for those folks. I have a map for that if you're oh, able to bring yeah. that up. Happy to. Okay. Yeah, so this is an aerial view of WA and you can see uh, the election entrance. That's the door that the voters will be going in. Mm -hmm. Sign holders will be directed to the three uh, vehicle entryways at Patton Road, and you can see those red um, shapes. That's where the sign holders can stand. Uh, it'll give everybody who's coming into the building a great view of their signs and allow them enough room uh, to have as many people there as they want. Um, in terms of people who are handing out material or leaflets or collecting signatures, you'll see three green areas, one at each side of the school and one in the front. Uh, those areas are a, a behind or next to the sidewalks that the voters walk on and uh, will allow access to people who are coming from their cars into the building. 
but in no way prevent the voters from walking down that sidewalk in front of the building to get to the election entrance. So I, I think this will be a compromise that makes everybody happy. Right. And for people who are new to town meeting, those sign holders are for various articles or um, positions that people might be interested in or kind of sharing where they're um, where they're at in terms of articles for the for the um, for town meeting. Right. right. Um, great. So I will take this down. This is an excellent map. And that map is available to anyone uh, by link from the town moderators page and also uh, on the town meeting page where the documents relative to town meeting are posted. Great. Um, so those were all the questions that I had about the check-in process for town meeting in March. Is there anything you wanted to add that I missed? Nope, just that I hope to see everybody there. Yeah, thank you so much for this information, Angela. So if you're watching, excuse me, and want to learn more about Town Meeting in Westford, please check out the other videos posted on the Town Moderator page of the Town of Westford website at westfordna.gov. And um, you just go down to the government section of the website and look for the Town Moderator page under Town Meeting. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Angela. Thank you.